Today I'm going to show you guys how to change your PD and EMS alerts from the default versions to PS Dispatch. If you don't have PS Dispatch installed, I did make a video on how to do that, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Also, my videos lately have been covering Project Lost resources, I'll continue to cover the suggestions I receive, so if you have any, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord, the link will be in the description, I hope you enjoy the video. First, we'll start with replacing the robbery alerts, I already made a video showing how to do it with store robbery, so I'll move on to the banks. I will also add instructions on how to do this with banks are pinned in the support section in Project Lost Discord. You can also find all the exports on GitHub in the README section of PS Dispatch. So go to your server resources, go into the QB folder, go down to QB bank robbery, go into the client section, and then we're going to open the Fleeka one. Then once we're in here, we're going to scroll down until we see line 273, which has the default alert. And then we're just going to hover over this part and attach the snippet. Then we'll clean it up and then you can hit file and save. Once that's done, you can go back to QB bank robbery and this time we're going to open the Pacific. And once we're in here, we're looking for lines 51. So this one, I'm going to hover over it and paste the snippet. And we're also looking for line 93, or it's going to be 94, so same thing, hover over it, replace it with the snippet, and then you can hit file and save. The last bank is the Polito one, so again we'll open the Polito section. We'll scroll down to line 42, hover over the default alert, and paste the snippet. And then you can hit file and save. Next, I'll show you guys how to change the jewelry robbery alert. So go back to the QB folder, go down to QB jewelry, open the client section, and open main. We're going to scroll down to line 54, hover over it again, and replace it with the export. Then we're going to go down to line 80. We're going to hover over it and again replace it with the export. And then you can hit file and save. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to change the drug selling alerts. So go back to the QB folder and go into QB drugs. We go into the client section and then we're going to do corner selling first. So I'll just look for the alert. And then we'll replace it with the export. Then you can hit file and save. Then we'll go into the delivery one. Look for alert again. And then we'll replace this one. Then you can hit file and save. Also be sure to save the other one. From here we'll be adding the house robbery export. So go back to the QB folder. Go to QB house robbery. Go into the client section. And then once we're in here I'm just going to control F for the alert. I'm going to hover over it and paste the export we copied then we're going to hit file and save next i'll be showing you guys how to do the panic button alerts all right so for the panic buttons we're going to go back to the qb folder we're going to go down to qb radio menu then we're going to open the config and we're going to scroll down till we see the job section And we're going to replace this here. And this is EMS. And then we're going to scroll down more until we find the police one. And do the same thing.
These will be in the description as well. After that, we're going to hit File and Save, and then we'll move on to the EMS alerts. All right, so for the EMS alerts, we're going to go to the QB folder, open QB Ambulance Shop, go to Client, and then open the first one. Then we're going to scroll down to line 54 for the deceased civilians. We're going to hover over this and paste the copy to export. Then we're going to go down to line 189. We're going to hover over this for the civilian down. Paste the export and notice these are different. Then we're going to hit file and save. Then we're going to go back to QB Ambulance Shop and open last stand. And I'm going to scroll down to line 70. Hover over this. And again, this is the civilian down. We're going to hit paste and then we're going to hit file and save. And I believe that is all of them. If I missed one, just leave it in the comments below. At this point, you can start your server and test them out. Alright, so I'm in this server and there are a lot to go through, so I'll start with the EMS ones. So I'll go to the radio menu, hit the panic button. Okay, that one works. It also shows the person injured. I'm not going to wait to bleed out to see the other one. Oh. I don't know why I just typed that. Okay, then I'm going to switch my job to police. And I'll do the same thing. Okay, the panic button's working. Now I'll move on to the robbery alerts. Alright, so for the banks, I'll do one of each kind. This is the Pacific Bank, I believe. There we go. And then there we go, there's the alert for the Pacific one. And then there's the Fleeka one. And then there's the Polito one. I'll do the house robbery next. Um, Alright, so I'm at this random house. There we go. And there's the house robbery alert. That'll be all for this video. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. And if you need help or have any questions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.